three. It is uh, eight forty seven. Mix one zero four one. Mix TV TV. And we're joined now by Congressman Tim Burchett. Congressman, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me on, brother. Yes, sir. And uh, you know, just to just to kick it off here, Congressman, um, how are you feeling about the uh, the presidential uh, election uh, tomorrow? Well, I always say there's only two ways to run, scared and unopposed. So I guess I'm running a little scared right now with it. Um, I, I feel like President Trump will carry the ticket in most states, and I feel like the swing states are trending in our direction. But I, I can't get too overconfident about his race or my race. Yeah, so uh, uh, what do you mean by that you can't get too overcome by it? I just can't get too overconfident. I have opposition, and, and of course he does too. I, I, I see people saying, "Oh, we got it in the bag," but you know, I just keep telling people, "You got to put more point, so many points on the board that they can't steal it from you. Um, you have to just load up the cart on this thing." And I, I, I see Hollywood coming out against Trump pretty hard. He's on Saturday Night Live. Of course, it's filmed in New York, but. Um, but still, it's that Hollywood crowd, and they're, they're and that was illegal. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to give Trump equal time, and obviously they didn't. And they, um, they the rules just don't apply to them. They're getting very blatant, which tells me they are they they think they're behind, and they're just doing everything they can to make it work. These far left uh, movie stars coming out for for Kamala just. You know, it, it, every every day another one, and I have to ask somebody, one of the young ladies in my office, who they are, because I don't know who they are. But they, um, I feel like there's a sense of desperation on the left, but and maybe just a tad bit of overconfidence on the right. So I hope I hope that all our folks get to the polls on election day. We're joined by uh, United States Congressman Tim Burchett of Knoxville, and I will. Uh, talk, I want to talk about your race in just a second, but you just said it. Uh, you talked about uh, so they don't steal the election. Are you concerned about election uh, security tomorrow? Not in Tennessee. Trey Hargett, who's our Secretary of State, runs the cleanest races in the country. There's no question. They, other states have called him in to advise them, and, and the old swing states that you know, that they know they're going to have problems with, have chosen not to call him in, which which bothers me greatly. I, uh, you've seen it already in some states where they turn people away at early voting at 145 because the, the polls close at 5. They, they estimate that's when the line, um, you know, when it would be um, through because it's taken so long, but that's not how the law reads. The law reads if you're in line at at five o'clock or whenever the polls early voting i'm talking about um uh if you're in line you're supposed to be able to vote and they're arbitrarily making decisions and that's um that's what happened the last time so i would hope people are paying attention in these states and but i do think that the trump team is already filing lawsuits which is a good thing the last time they waited too long i felt like and um, they were filing them in the wrong courts, and they, they, you know, they were running it like a show, and they should have been running it like a, a legal defense. And um, and and frankly, that's what got us beat in a lot of these states because they filed them in the wrong courts, and they had terrible errors, and they didn't have the right people doing it. There's about five law firms in the country that handle that on the federal level that handle election abuse and none of those have been contacted that the last time you remember bush v gore um bush they they pre-filed lawsuits i mean they were ready in those states they knew where the problems were going to be and i feel like this go around the trump team is ready and um and they're going to be in place uh we're joined by congressman uh, tim burchett what are you especially going to be paying attention to let's say early in the evening uh, uh, tomorrow night during the coverage? The fact that, say, like a state like Tennessee has two um, two time zones, yet we'll get all ours. It'll, we'll know within probably by 10 o'clock where everything is, our time, and the state of Florida 
a third largest state by population and, and, and has two time zones as well, will be one of the first to report. Um, I'll be watching Pennsylvania. I believe that's um, where it's obviously going to come down to. I saw her, the vice president, she will be there three times tomorrow. I mean, today, excuse me. And um, President Trump will be there a couple of times today at different rallies. So I believe they realize that's where it's at. And um, and just the delays and the reason for the delays are, are, to me, are always suspect. You should always plan ahead. And if you know the national spotlight's on you, why in the world would you be understaffed? Um, you know, these... Uh, when these machines go down, that always makes me suspect, um, and it just it, that kind of thing scares me. Again, Tennessee, our machines are not connected. You can't hack them from a, a central base, uh, which I think is is the way to go. Prevents fraud. Not to say that there could be some, but but it just prevents somebody from hacking into it from one spot. So, you know, a lot of things. I just uh, just my gut tells me that that. We need to be paying extra close attention to some of these swing states as the votes start tabulating in the delays and the reason they call for these delays. Joined by Congressman Tim Burchett, let's talk about your race uh, in your district, Congressman. How have things been going and what are you hearing uh, up there from your constituents? Very positive. Um, more so, I, <laughs> I, I don't know if you got small children in the car or listening right now, but I always count the number of times I get a bird flipped at me and uh, you know and, and even when I run out of post somebody flips me a bird somebody doesn't like me but this time only one person did and we've got we've got opposition and I've, I've noticed folks of different nationalities first-time voters will come over after they vote and get a picture made with me um, even guys with man buns which <laughs> usually isn't my crowd but they've been coming over um, Hispanic folks especially um, black folks, I've just been kind of overwhelmed by the show of support from the different groups. And, um, you know, the labor folks are, have been supportive of me. And, uh, you know, it's just across the board and just hardworking folks. You know, the guys with the name on the shirt that come over and shake your hand and want to get a picture made with you and introduce you to their family. And I've, I've been very pleasantly surprised. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm not cocky. I'm just semi-confident. Like I said, two ways to run, scared and unopposed. So I'm running scared. Today I'll be out knocking on doors and, and visiting people up till about dark. And then tomorrow morning we'll be hitting the polls. And I've got over 100 polling places, nine counties. So it's, um, it's, uh, it's it'll be a long day for me tomorrow. Certainly so. Well, Congressman uh, Tim Burchett, we always appreciate you joining us. And, uh, Appreciate uh, appreciate your comments uh, this morning. Yes, sir. Well, one quick thing. I always remembered one night when the election was not going well. Um, Bill Clinton was winning. I was in the, I believe I was in the state house, and my dad said the prayer that night as we were we'd worked the polls all day, and he said a, a really simple prayer. He said, "Lord, please don't let us lose our country." Mm. And I thought, wow, you know, he's a World War II Marine. Mm. First Marine Division, Peleliu, Okinawa, and then went to China after the war and fought the communists, and that was his prayer. Mm. And so I would hope that's America's prayer going forward. Please don't let us lose our country. Congressman Tim Burchett. Congressman, thank you very much. I really appreciate you joining us. Man, it's always a pleasure being on with y'all. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, United States Congress